Have you ever felt completely drained after spending time with someone? Maybe you've tried to remain calm, but somehow they always get under your skin. Toxic people can negatively affect our mental well-being, leaving us stressed, anxious and frustrated. But what if there was a way to navigate these challenging interactions with resilience and calm? In today's video, we'll explore 13 powerful Stoic-inspired strategies that can help you deal with toxic people effectively and protect your emotional well-being. Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll feel more empowered than ever to handle even the most difficult individuals in your life. 1. Identifying the Toxic Threat Let's start by recognizing toxic behavior. Identifying when someone is toxic is crucial because you can't manage what you don't understand. Toxicity manifests in different ways. Manipulation, constant negativity, criticism or emotional abuse. Have you ever met someone who is always complaining putting others down or trying to control situations. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This idea is at the core of how we handle toxic people. We can't always avoid them, but we can choose how we respond. Toxic people often seek control over your emotions by making you react to their behavior. By recognizing their tactics, you take the first step in protecting your emotional energy. Think about someone in your life who might exhibit these toxic traits. Understanding the threat is the first step in dealing with them effectively. 2. Fortify your emotional walls. Once you've identified toxic behavior, the next step is setting firm emotional boundaries. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, ruled the Roman Empire with wisdom and strength. He believed in defining what is within our control and focusing on that. You can apply this in your life by setting boundaries to protect your emotional health. For example, if you find yourself drained after a conversation with a toxic person, think about how you can establish clear boundaries. Maybe you say something like, I feel drained when you focus on negativity. The key here is clarity and consistency. Boundaries are not a way to punish others, but a tool to protect your peace. Remember, if you don't set limits, people will continue to overstep them. Reflect on one area of your life where setting a boundary could help you deal with a toxic person. How would that change the dynamic? 3. Become uninteresting to emotional drama Toxic people often thrive on drama and they try to pull you into it. The Grey Rock Method teaches us to remain emotionally neutral when dealing with these individuals. Picture this. Someone is trying to start an argument or bring negativity into your life. Instead of engaging or reacting emotionally, you respond with short, factual and emotionless answers. Over time, they'll find that you're not giving them the emotional reaction they crave and they'll likely move on. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, famously said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. When we react to toxic people's drama, we lose our ability to enjoy the present moment. Don't give them that power. Be like a rock, unmoving and indifferent to their attempts at provocation. Think about a recent interaction where you were pulled into someone's drama. How might things have gone differently if you had stayed emotionally neutral? 4. Use the broken record technique. Have you ever had a conversation with someone where they just wouldn't take no for an answer? Toxic people often try to wear you down over time. This is where the broken record technique comes in. By calmly repeating your boundaries over and over again without changing your stance, you stay firm and protect yourself from manipulation or guilt-tripping. 
Imagine a scenario where a toxic person keeps pushing you to do something that crosses your boundaries. Instead of getting frustrated or emotional, you calmly repeat your stance. I'm not comfortable with that. The repetition shows them that you won't be swayed, no matter how much they push. Epictetus once said, Freedom is won by disregarding things beyond our control. Repeating your boundaries without getting emotional allows you to maintain control over your emotional freedom. Try this next time you encounter someone who doesn't respect your limits. 5. Don't take the bait. Toxic people love to provoke reactions, whether it's through hurtful comments, passive-aggressive behavior, or outright manipulation, they want you to engage. But Stoicism teaches us that we don't have to take the bait. Instead, we can choose to remain calm and detached, which disarms their attempts at control. Marcus Aurelius taught that the best revenge is not to be like your enemy. When you refuse to react to someone's toxic behavior, you win. They don't get the satisfaction of seeing you upset and you maintain your peace of mind. Next time a toxic person tries to provoke you, take a deep breath and remind yourself that their behavior doesn't define your reaction. 6. The Power of Non-Reaction Sometimes, the best response is no response at all. Toxic people often thrive on attention, good or bad. By choosing silence, you take away their power to affect you. Silence can be more powerful than words because it shows that you are in control of yourself. Marcus Aurelius said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Non-reaction allows you to rise above the pettiness of toxic people. Instead of engaging in their negativity, choose to remain calm and composed. This not only protects your emotional health, but also sends a clear message that their behavior won't affect you. Consider a situation where you could have chosen silence instead of engaging. How might things have turned out differently? 7. Limit your exposure. One of the most effective strategies when dealing with toxic people is to limit your exposure to them. Toxic individuals often drain your energy, leaving you feeling mentally and emotionally exhausted after interactions. The more time you spend with them, the more likely their negativity will impact your overall well-being. Therefore, reducing the time you spend with them is essential to maintaining your emotional balance. Limiting exposure doesn't necessarily mean you have to cut the person out of your life entirely, especially if they're a family member, colleague, or someone you cannot easily avoid. Instead, the idea is to manage the amount of time you spend with them and set clear boundaries around how you interact. For example, if you know a certain family member tends to make negative or hurtful comments during conversations, limit how often you call or visit. When you do interact, make sure the interaction is on your terms and within a controlled environment that doesn't leave room for prolonged negative behavior. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of protecting our inner peace by controlling what we allow into our minds. He said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote resonates with the idea of limiting exposure. Toxic people can't hurt you emotionally if you don't allow them to. By controlling how often and how deeply you engage with them, you preserve your emotional energy for more fulfilling and positive interactions. Another practical aspect of limiting exposure involves consciously choosing when and how you respond to toxic individuals. For example, if you receive a negative text message or email, you don't need to reply right away. 
give yourself time to cool off, think clearly and decide whether the situation warrants a response at all. This approach helps prevent knee-jerk reactions that can escalate the situation. In today's digital age, limiting exposure also extends to social media and online interactions. If someone's posts or comments consistently cause stress or upset, unfollowing or muting them can help maintain your mental well-being. Overall, limiting exposure helps create a buffer between you and the toxic behavior, allowing you to stay grounded and focused on your own peace of mind. 8. Cultivate Inner Detachment Inner detachment is a core principle of Stoicism that can be incredibly helpful when dealing with toxic individuals. At its heart, detachment means remaining emotionally neutral and unaffected by external events, especially those that are outside of your control. This concept can be particularly powerful when applied to interactions with toxic people, as they often try to provoke reactions or stir up drama. The Stoic philosophers believed that true happiness comes from within, not from external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the context of dealing with toxic people, this means recognizing that you cannot control their behavior, but you can control how you respond to it. Inner detachment allows you to maintain your peace of mind, no matter how toxic someone else may be. Detachment doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent to others' emotions. Rather, it's about creating a healthy emotional distance that prevents you from getting swept up in their negativity. Toxic individuals often thrive on causing drama and eliciting emotional reactions. By cultivating inner detachment, you deny them the satisfaction of getting a rise out of you. When they realize they can no longer manipulate your emotions, they may either back off or try to escalate their behavior. But the key is to remain calm and centered. To cultivate inner detachment, practice mindfulness and self-awareness during interactions with toxic people. When you notice yourself becoming emotionally reactive, pause and take a deep breath. Remind yourself that their behavior is a reflection of their inner turmoil, not a reflection of you. By staying grounded in your own emotions and refusing to engage with their negativity, you maintain control over your internal state. It's also helpful to visualize an emotional shield or barrier that protects you from the toxic energy around you. Imagine that any negativity directed your way bounces off this shield, leaving you untouched. This mental exercise can help reinforce your detachment and strengthen your emotional resilience. In essence, inner detachment allows you to rise above the chaos and remain anchored in your own sense of peace. The more you practice it, the less power toxic people will have over you and the more empowered you will feel in maintaining your emotional well-being. 9. Focus on what you can control. Stoicism teaches us that one of the most important principles in life is focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. This idea is especially useful when dealing with toxic people as they often create situations where we feel powerless or frustrated. Toxic individuals may criticize, manipulate or blame others and in such moments it can be easy to feel overwhelmed. However, by shifting your focus to what is within your control, you can regain a sense of empowerment. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This concept is at the core of focusing on what you can control. You cannot change how a toxic person behaves, but you can choose how to respond to them. Whether they are trying to provoke you, guilt trip you, or manipulate your emotions, your response is entirely up to you. 
This realization brings freedom, as it reminds you that their behavior doesn't dictate your emotional state. A practical way to apply this is by recognizing and accepting that some people will never change. Their toxic behavior may stem from deep-rooted issues that are beyond your influence. Once you acknowledge this, you can stop wasting energy trying to fix or change them. Instead, focus on managing your own boundaries, emotions, and actions. This allows you to reclaim your emotional energy and direct it towards more positive and productive aspects of your life. In practice, focusing on what you can control might involve using specific communication techniques, such as calmly stating your boundaries, removing yourself from an escalating situation, or choosing not to engage in an argument. For instance, if a toxic person starts blaming you for something that isn't your fault, rather than trying to defend yourself or change their perspective, you can simply state your position and disengage. This way, you remain in control of your emotions and protect your mental health. Another aspect of focusing on what you can control is practicing self-care. Toxic people can drain your energy, so it's essential to prioritize your own well-being. Make time for activities that restore your mental and emotional balance, such as exercising, meditating, or spending time with supportive people. Ultimately, by focusing on what you can control, you free yourself from the emotional turbulence caused by toxic individuals. This not only improves your ability to handle difficult situations, but also enhances your overall sense of peace and resilience. 10. Practice compassion from a distance. While it's essential to protect yourself, it's also important to remember that toxic people are often struggling with their own issues. They may be dealing with insecurities, trauma, or emotional pain. Practicing compassion from a distance allows you to empathize with their struggles without letting it compromise your peace. Compassion doesn't mean you allow them to walk all over you. It simply means you understand their pain, but you choose to prioritize your well-being. Think about a toxic person in your life. How can you practice compassion while still maintaining firm boundaries? Conclusion The Stoic Approach to Toxic People Dealing with toxic people doesn't have to drain you. By applying these Stoic strategies, you can handle difficult individuals with calm, resilience and grace. Remember, it's not about changing them, it's about mastering your own emotions and protecting your peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights on how to live a mentally resilient and emotionally balanced life.